In this lecture, we will see how to manually dimension a floor plan. So if you look at our plan, in the previous lecture we had placed some automatic dimensions to the plan and I want us to delete them or so activate the dimensions tool then control A on your keyboard to select them and then either using the delete or the backspace key just click on delete to do away with them or rather you can uh, right click and then choose this option delete you will still have deleted those automatic dimensions so what, what manual dimensions mean is that we are going to manually pick all the points that need to be included in our dimensioning. So let's go ahead and do it. We will start by activating the dimension tool. And this is found under the document menu. So click on document, documenting tools. And we have the dimension tool here, which is the first one. We have first one below independent views. We have dimension. We have other three types of dimensions but right now we are going to use this first one so click on it or oh, that has been uh, selected so let's go to the settings dialog for the dimension tool click on the settings dialog here and you will have this as the default settings for for the dimensions so the first one is settings that control the dimension type that we will have so we have dimension type here and We've selected linear method of the marker type for our dimensions. We have the witness line type and we have options for either showing the dimension text only or uh, static dimensions. We also have options that uh, or other settings that control the, ma the mark pen and settings that control the dimension line pen. So here under the mark pen, click on this, we'll get options. Uh, you can choose to have pen number 48 for the mark pen and for the dimension line click on this and let's have pen 88 that way and close this dimension type settings and under text style here we have uh, settings that control the font type the font uh, that is the dimension text pen and the font size in millimeters so we click on the first one which is under font type that will uh, Choose this font. I will be using Montserrat font. Click on it to select it. Then under um, dimension text pen, click on this, this blue here, this blue icon here. Then we select pen number six. And uh, font size, leave that as two. Or rather we can, under font size, let's have 1.8 millimeters. Then we have options for making that bold, making it italic, make, making the text underlined, or we can strike through the text. We have options that control how this uh, lettering is going to look in the plan. So we have the width and the spacing between and the spacing between letters in terms of uh, percentage values. Below that. We have options for, we have settings for customizing the position of the dimension text in connection with the dimensioning line. So we have options for displaying this above line, within line and below line. We sel we've selected above line. We have options for having the background of this text as opaque and having a frame. Leave those unselected. Let's go to marker and witness line options and these are settings that helps us to control the size of the marker size, the size of the marker and the custom witness line length in terms of uh, millimeter units. Below that we have options for pointer. So if you have pointer selected, you have options that allow us to customize the line type and the pen tool for the line. We have, uh, we have options for having an arrow, the sizes of the arrowhead, and the pen set for the arrowhead. So under dimension details, here we can be able to check whether we want to display the height of openings and how we want these uh, dimensions to be calculated. Like here we have automatic dimensions, automatically dimension walls and slabs using the outer surfaces so that when we 
move our cursor to, to these uh, outer surfaces, we are going to snap to those points. Then we have options for dimension text placement method, and here I have it as flexible. So that's set a start, and we have uh, properties that control the renovation status and renovation filter options. So with that, let's just uh, click OK, and we have the settings saved. In terms of architectural standards, the very first dimension line is usually uh, dimensions that show the sizes of openings on uh, that face of a wall. So we'll start with the uh, we'll start with picking the points that will help us display the sizes of our openings, and that will be our first dimensioning line. So let's uh, zoom to this wall, to this side of the plan, and start with let's start with this point. But right now I see that the roof, this roof is going to inconvenience us. So what we do is let's select the roof, and we see the roof is under the shell and roof layer. So control, control L on the keyboard will allow us to open the layers. Then we will look for the shell roof layer and hide it. So here is uh, the shell roof layer. So this is the layer. So I will click on this eye icon to turn it off and click OK. And you will see we have turned the roof off. So with that we will be able to work well. So let's get to back to our dimension tool and pick this at the first line. Then where you have the window, you'll pick the this point, this point. Notice that when you bring this uh, when you bring this pen like cursor towards that window, this color is changing to blue to show that we have uh, selected that window. So we pick this point. Let's pick this point. Then we pick these other points manually. Pick that. Pick these two. And then pick the end point here, which is this corner. Then after they are selected that like that, so this is the this this is the side where we want to place the line. So just move to a convenient distance from the external face of this wall, and then double click. When you double click, you will see these uh, witness lines, uh, they start showing, and then when you are confident that this is where you want to place that dimension line, you just click once, click once, then you will see that dimension line has been placed there. So the next dimension line is for showing the sizes of the elements that we have, and this is in terms of walls and columns. So here we have walls, we are going to show the thicknesses of those walls. So we'll select these walls, let's say we want to start with this. So click on that wall to select it. So just move the cursor that way, click on it, click on this one, click on that. This and this as the last one. Then move this uh, cursor to this point, this is where we want to place the dimension line. Double click, you will see them showing, and then uh, after that, just click once to release it. So we have those uh, dimensions in place. Then the last one is the overall dimension, which is from the starting point here. You can go all all the way up to the end point of this phase of our plan. So we do this then double click and click to place them so you notice we have uh, we have these grid lines blocking some of these lines so we can choose to extend them so i will select them select them like that and then click to extend them So they've been extended, click on the outside to unselect them, and that is how these now dimensions look like. So we need to put these dimensions to all sides of our plan. So let's say we, and before that, 
we have we have one dimension line that we need to also include here and this is the one that shows the the distances between between these grid lines so we pick this point pick that and that so pick those points and place that line and that means this line is supposed to move up and this moves down and we will have this overall dimension as the last line that we have there So that's how to, to dimension the grid lines also. So I'll just give you another example very fast. Then, I'll, then, then for the other two sides, you will do them on your own. Then we'll meet in the next lecture. So here I want to extend these grid lines so that I get some uh, space here for placing the dimension lines. So I'll extend them to, let's see that point. So I'll uh, select that and move it. Extend this also. Extend this. Extend all of them. So with those lines extended, now we have a good space here where we can put where we can place our dimension lines. So in the document, documenting tools, let's have the dimension selected with the settings that we had uh, put in place. We begin, the very first line is, is the line that shows the sizes of the openings. So we pick this point here as our first dimensioning point. Then the next dimension the measuring point is going to be where we have an opening and this is the first opening which is this window so we pick that also we pick these two windows then we move down to this and we pick those lines those points and the last point here we move the cursor to this to this side which is where we want to place the dimension line double click to activate the witness lines and then just adjust them that way and when you are sure that that is where you want to have your first dimension line just click once to release then you will have that dimension line placed there so the second one is to show the thicknesses of the walls so i will start by this wall so just move the cursor up to where you have this wall so you will see the outline of that wall changing to a blue color when you see that click then when you click you will have these two points that have picked the external face of that wall and the internal face of that wall then you have these other walls that you should include you have this that wall that and that and that then double click and place that dimension there the next dimension we said is for these grid lines so just pick those lines and then place that dimension there then the very last one is from the external face of that wall to the external face of this other wall place that dimension there so if you look at the plan right now we have dimensions on the eastern elevation side and we have dimensions on the north elevation side of that building so you will go ahead and uh, place dimensions on this other western on the western side and on uh, the southern elevation side of of the plan so let's take a closer look 
at these dimensions i'll zoom to this point so let's look at the ones that have uh, sizes of openings if you look at the very first line here we have dimensions such as 2.781 which is 2781 we have like 1284 we have 1933 we have 1402 and and the likes so the intention is to have this because if you convert 2781 millimeters to meters we'll get 2.781 meters the intention is to have this as mostly uh, we do away with these other two decimal uh, places so what i will do i will adjust this window or move it towards this direction by 81 millimeters so with shift click on it to select it then right click choose move and this option for drag then click here and drag it then type 81 then enter that dimension so you've seen this dimension has changed to 2.7 we'll do the same with this dimension here and that is controlled by the positioning of this window here so we'll move this towards this uh, side so let's see the best option is to move it towards this side by 65 so control d and then select it and move it to one start direction by 65 enter you we'll love that solved then this dimension is the spacing between this window and this window so we select this window move it control d and you're going to move it from here towards this direction by let's say 2 cm enter and you will have this as a whole number then the 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 last one here is this window so we move it towards this side by 25 enter and now you see we have adjusted those dimensions and this and this dimension line here now as as the dimension in uh, all numbers as you can see so that's how to do the adjustments manually for for the location of the openings that affect the various dimensions let's scroll to the inside or rather to a point like this and we look at interior dimensions this is dimension 4 let's say we want to know the size of this master bedroom the distance between this wall and this wall and then we have distance between this wall and that wall because that is going to be useful to someone who is building on site so with the dimension tool active we click on this and then click on that and just place the dimension that way then because we only want the internal face we select it control on your keyboard and just click on the points that you want to remove and then you will see them get eliminated and you will remain with your internal dimension like that let's say we take this wall and that wall place that dimension here so shift click on the dimension to select it then control and click on this point and that point to remove them from from our dimension line if you want to extend this line we can just click on it and then with control with control on our keyboard we will be able now to add other points other dimensioning points to this line so if i click on this you notice we have added that point let's say i click on this wall added these points too that's how to extend the dimension line we've just done it let's have the very last one as this So that's done. We've uh, come to the end of the lecture. We've looked at manual dimensions, how to place manual dimensions on a floor plan, how to adjust windows and door placing so that we can achieve uniform dimensions 